Hey guys, welcome to the first part of the review of the Nokia N8. Uh, I'm gonna be going over Symbian 3 for this part of the review. Now, the first thing you can notice about Symbian 3 is, of course, the three home screens. It's not as smooth as, of course, the HTC's TouchFlow 3D or HTC Sense, for that matter, on the Desire and the Legend. But once you swipe, you have to wait for like a fraction of a second for the home screen to change or you can just press this part on the screen that shows you which home screen you're on um now as far as the home screens being customizable they are very customizable and i have loads of it widgets over here um you can see contacts maps ov store this is top apps um facebook music yep and the fm transmitter which we'll be showing later um okay now for the menu uh it's pretty much the same as s60 v5 the menu bar except it's become more touch oriented like the kinetic scrolling stuff like that it looks much smoother and it feels it actually feels like a touchscreen phone instead of feeling like a software that's made for brick phones and then just a little customized for a touchscreen phone um and i'll show you the keyboard in the messages so um you have the option of the alphanumeric i'll just show you the qwerty uh yeah so the qwerty keyboard is pretty much a change from S60 V5. Uh, in S60, I think the QWERTY keyboard used to be till here, but then you couldn't see the whole message properly, so they made it smaller. Um, it's quite easy to type, except for one problem that happens. The spacebar is really tiny, so sometimes you end up pressing the right key and you go back to the start of the sentence. So I'm typing, hey, what's up? And this is what happens um, but otherwise it's pretty nice uh, the skin of the keyboard is nice uh, the message the place you can see has become bigger the field tech the field of text entry has become bigger and yeah now um, I'll show you the call menu which has had a little change in it um, now like the desire and some other phones you can uh you can type the name of the person so if i wanna uh call my dad i'm just gonna go p a p a and i get his number and yeah so that's uh about uh symbian 3 it's pretty nice and uh, very customizable the widgets you can just hold the home screen and you can move around the widgets a little bit or you can just you know hold an individual widget and remove it or you know edit settings shortcut one shortcut two shortcut three shortcut four and it's quite an enjoyable experience, I'd say, for those Nokia users who want to stick to Nokia but want a sm uh, smartphone. But um, I'd say if you're someone who uses a lot of apps, um, this phone is getting more app more and more apps in the OV store. But then uh, it can never match up to the Android store or the Apple store, for that matter. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you.